Hi friends, my name is Sami Biwaye. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to upload multiple files. Our multiple files, what we need to do is we need to create a child record for this so that every record can have one or multiple images attached to it. So let's start um, the implementation. First, I will go to the uh, product index. I'll go to our product index view, product index. I will duplicate this. I'll call it upload multiple. I'll call our action multiple, which is going to be created. I'll say this should be primary. So let's go to our controller. And I'll create public function action multiple I say return um I say multiple we don't have a view yet but we'll do we'll create that shortly so let's be sure let's go to our and let's refresh this let's click on upload multiple good but nothing is there so let's quickly click our view so i will do this our view then i will multiplicate this as well i'll call it multiple now in this half form we only need two fields there one is the upload field and the other one is drop down list for the for all the uh, products that we already have in our database so i'll say this is image we'll leave it as it, as it is but we'll put it array so that you can accept multiple files then this should be product We don't have that yet, but we'll quickly create it. So product is equal product. Um, I say find where status is common. Say common. In case anyone that is being disabled from database should not be allowed. So going to our database, this is. The status we talking about that this status is common it should display it. else if anyone is zero or another number it should not accept it so let's quickly create a table for pictures for the child of the product so we'll call it pictures and the first the id um product id which is the parent id this should be image and this should be um, created at so we can get the term it was created we make this timestamp and the default should be the current timestamp so this should be var variable character i will put the length to 200 and product id should be int as it is so we'll make this auto increment good and we'll save let's quickly go to our uh, key to generate the model for the table we just created so I'll go to model, I'll say pictures and preview. Good. I'll quickly generate it. Let's go back to our code and we'll see that our model has been generated. So first let's uh, start with this. We need to change some stuff here. We need to make it file. We're not looking at string and also looking at the extensions. Extensions, extensions we're looking at are PNG, JPEG, and GIF. This will be the three files that we want to allow. So we want to do the maximum file. The maximum file to be uploaded will be max files is, let's say, five, and skip on empty. 
keep on empty and then if um, it is empty the field should not accept to so make it false should not skip when the um, upload field is empty so we're good from here now let's um, quickly create a model we'll call it um, upload equal new pictures click it in uh, the class for picture so we'll pass both of them from this place see upload is equal this what pictures is equal uh, product reader products is equal this so let's go to our view and we'll refresh this is on the fine variable model so it means we need to change this from model to upload since our our class name is in store in variable of upload so let's refresh so status you know this should be um, image you no know, product id which is coming from here product id from my pictures uh, html special good in this error it's telling us that um, the multiple this drop down list does not accept this it does not understand what is inside this place so we need to make use of array helper so let's quickly use array helper we'll call map um, so we want our value to be id and our title to, to be the uh, name Twenty-five variable model. Where is that? Yeah. Okay. Good. These are some of the things you face when you duplicate a form. So I will remove this. So we change this to upload, and we we'll remove this as well. Good. So now we now have our two fields. So let's quickly create our controller. Let's quickly uh, code our controller. So say if upload, upload, mm -hmm. yeah. request, post. So we'll say, um, Upload image is equal upload file get instance. Now we're using get instances. Remember in our previous tutorial we make use of get instance when simply means you're only accepting one file. But since we are accepting multiple files here, we need to make use of get instances. So we need to the first parameter will be the model we're making use of, which is upload. Well, the second parameter is going to be the feed name, which is the image. So we'll validate our, our input file. So we'll say if this and this is validate, then what, what will happen? So we'll quickly go to our uh, this place to check if um, in case the the product feed is not created already, we'll quickly create that the code will be created that for us. So we will need to pass our path to this. I'll copy this. This should be our path. And 
we need to run through each uploaded file. We'll say for each upload image as um, image. And we need to save our record into the into database. We say model is equal new um, pictures. So uh, model the product ID is equal upload product ID product ID. So our model that image is equal this time we're not we don't want to use the base name because we might actually upload um so many files that might have the same name probably from different sources but having the same name so in, in order to have um to not have a conflicted um image name um so we need to probably generate some unique um, number or string to into our image so i'll quickly use timestamp and also concatenate the timestamp with like three other digits in case we have multiple, multiple people uploading um, at the same time and the timestamp for them, for it not to be of the same thing or maybe conflict so let's concatenate some random number to it so we'll say from 100 to 999 so that should give us and also we need to concatenate with the extension and we'll say image dot extension the image we call here is coming from this place so we'll now say model save so we'll say if this is save then um model image reader image save as then what will be the name of the uh, of the image and the directory so we need to make use of the parts concatenated with the image name So let's redirect out of this place in case our upload is successful. We'll say return this dot redirect um, to index. So it will redirect us to index if um, our upload validation is correct and it was we're able to upload it successfully without any issue. So let's try our code and see how it works. So I'll refresh this and let me upload, let's say, two, multiple, two double file. Right now, we're only able to select one image. You can select multiple, and that's because um, we need to change, add something to this place, you see. Multiple. multiple is equal to in order for us to be able to upload multiple files so I'll refresh and select double file I'll open let's say I'm selecting one of these and upload good let's go to our pictures to to see if any record is added no record is added and Let's see if any file is created for us. No file is created. I think something happened around from around this place. So let's um, save this as first. And let's refresh. So I'll quickly upload this multiple file. And let's see a capella. Let's go to our database to see. Good, we have two records here. And where are the images? We have two images. These are the two images we just uploaded right now. So that is how you upload uh, multiple files 
and see you in our next tutorial.